Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's not very dark, but it's getting dark, so I had to bring my light out. So if the settings aren't been working, that's how we're gonna have to roll with it today. Okay, so today's video is a full face of first impressions. I'm really excited about this. I spent quite a lot of money. I spent $700, so I'm really excited. I think I don't have much to say except let's get started. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. Because it's just a nice thing to do. Come on, guys. This is 2019. It's the year of being nice. So subscribe. So, well, the first primer that I have, I did grab is the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. I've heard so many things about this primer. So I'm just like, I need to try that. I'm going with like one and a half pop. I'm kind of excited because I'm here a lot. Ooh, I do not like the smell of this. Oh. It smells like something from elementary. It kind of smells almost, you know what it smells like? It smells like that blue clear glue, that blue clear Elmer, Elmer's glue. That's seriously what it smells like. Oh, and it is sticky. It's pretty tacky. Do I look different? Not really. First, I'm gonna color correct because I always have to color correct no matter what. So I'm gonna use my Maybelline. What do you call? This is the Master Camo in Apricot. So now I did grab a couple of samples of foundations. Um, the samples that I got were the NARS um, Radiant. Oh, it's the short stubby bottle. Um, I got two colors. I got Stromboli and Valencia. So the one that I'm putting on right now is ooh, Stromboli. Let's close Stromboli up. So we're gonna go in with Valencia. <laughs> and let's see how she treats us. I think Valencia is more. I want to say I grabbed about a pump's worth, but at the same time, I don't know. I typically put more around my mouth area because that's where all the color corrector is. So, and I think I put too much on the rest of my face. Exactly. Um, I think I'm going to do one side of my face with my brush, which I use the Morphe brush. I'm going to grab a, like a mirror so that, one second. So I'm going to do one side with the brush. So I did have orange, like a bit of color corrector right here, so let's see how it acts up. Because I hear that this is Jackie Ina's actually favorite foundation from NARS. So, and I'm hoping that it's pretty. It is very radiant, I will say that. Or maybe it's the primer underneath. I've always wanted to try, uh, I've always wanted to try a NARS foundation, and now it is the time I get to try it. But I can still see a little bit of the orange peeking through, so I can say that it's not full coverage where it's gonna like easily cover it up. Through, so I'm actually gonna grab a little bit more and see if I can build it up to the point where it'll cover it. Second layer, it does cover it up better. So I can say that this can honestly become full coverage, you just have to build it up. More coverage is on with the brush side, with the um, beauty blender, with, with the sponge. You can see my skin peeking through just a little bit, and I kind of like that. And usually I have this problem where you can like still see my pores, like it's not sticking. But I don't know if it's the primer or what, but this is looking so freaking pretty. Okay, I turned them down a lot. So you can see really how my skin looks. I think it looks really pretty. So I think I'm going to use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. So I'm really excited. I hope this shade is good. Because I really don't like a very bright under eye. By the same time I do. But sometimes I don't when I'm not trying to go. 
shade's not so bad. I probably could have gone with a shade darker. Okay, that's my second time dipping in. It does feel dick. It's not spreading out as much as I'd like. It kind of just stayed there. Okay, yeah, you can you can see that. I mean, maybe the only place I wouldn't want it to spread out is like on the nose. But I kind of want it to like easily like blend out and spread out. And underneath the eye, I feel like it's doing a bit better. I mean, is it only better underneath the eye or something? Either it blended into nothingness or that color is just that pretty. Okay, I do feel like I lost a bit of coverage right there. So I think I'm going to try to build it up a little bit more just right here. I'm not, I'm on, I honestly don't know if this is supposed to be full coverage or not. I hear that it is, you know, but I'm not one to like cake on the concealer. So this time I'm just going to pat it in a little bit less harsh and more precise in that area instead of like trying to like actually spread it out. Honestly, I feel like in this video, I'm like trying a lot of products that like are holy grails for a lot of YouTubers. So I'm excited to see if what they say is actually true like and honestly I feel like it's better because I'm a very like day-to-day -day kind of person so it's like I'm like the average consumer so like if I see a youtuber using it I'm just like oh my god they talked so highly of it I need it now and if I buy it and it's just like oh um, no you lied to me so I don't have like a setting powder because um I'm very specific when it comes to my setting powders I am gonna use my uh, Fenty banana powder I am gonna put a little bit of spray because we put all that powder on. I'm gonna just use my Smashbox primer water just to like melt this away because this is what I do. So I kind of want to do things that I normally do. I don't have a fancy fan. 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 Okay, so for bronzers, I bought the Fenty Beauty bronzer in the shade Island Ting. And then I also bought the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer and this is in the shade luminous bronze light so since we're going with the very luminous skin today I'm going to go in with the hourglass blush bronzer which I actually did get an hourglass I see that my sister got an hourglass um blush so I'm really excited because I hear this bronzer is so freaking pretty oh my god I love this packaging it's like so simple but so sleek so this is the bronzer that I got I'm so excited okay here we go guys I am using my Morphe X Jacqueline Hill brush and use code not affiliated at checkout for 10% off. So I'm just gonna dip. I don't really know if it's like pigmented, so we don't find that together. I'm gonna still tap off the excess and I should probably be using like a brush that I haven't used that many times with all of that. Okay, I'm gonna use this other Morphe brush. This is the M437. Um, and I'm gonna use that. And this is probably gonna be more precise a little bit. Instead of like all over the place. Okay, I can't see the little glitter particles in this. I don't know if that's gonna like set me off because I don't like glitter in my bronzer. So I'm really scared that that's gonna be like the one thing I'm gonna be like, oh no, sweetie. I like it in my blush, but not in my bronzer. For blush, I'm going to use the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush, and this is in the shade Mood Exposure. Oh, I'm so excited, oh my gosh. Okay, this is what it looks, ooh, this is very mauve-y. On camera it looks pink but in person it, it's not that pink it's like a deep pink I don't think this color I might not I don't think I might like it that much because I don't really like deep blushes I'm gonna use oh on camera it looks like it's a lot but it's not that much I promise I'm sure y'all are wondering, oh, is that face a good thing or a bad thing? This blush is really pretty. 
don't get me wrong but um, it is definitely I don't I don't like the shade I think that's what it is <laughs> this is the makeup revolution liquid highlighter you know makeup revolution copies everything that people do okay it's definitely picking up product underneath so that was a dumb mistake and it's not blending out with the sponge maybe you do need to um, use a uh, use it underneath It's not blending out. Honestly, it's not that bad. I think I would have to put it underneath um, like powder products. Mm, no, it has glitter in it. Yeah, I don't like it. It has glitter in it. I can see it. Like I'm telling you, it looks so intense on camera. But it's, it's just glitter. All right, we've been spending too much time on the face. So now I have a couple of brow products that one, I chose this is the benefit gimme brow and then my sister picked out the Maybelline tattoo studio and then I also got the Anastasia dip brow gel which I'm gonna use that because I've been waiting for forever to use this so if I actually really like this I will keep this um, so I'm really excited. they say that you don't need to fill in your eyebrows so I think I'm gonna use this and then whatever I feel like I need a little bit more color um, or like more like I guess more coverage in a way like if I have like a few spots left then I will Ooh, I look nasty um whatever sparse areas I feel I'll just add I'll just go with my pencil all right here we go that is the first little dip I'm gonna go back in I feel like I need a bit more color going towards the back of my Slightly disappointed. I thought it was gonna look nicer. I don't know why I'm carrying this big old mirror. I think I'd have a really big love-hate relationship with this product. Like on camera, I mean, my eyebrow looks, I mean, my eyebrows are pretty. I don't need no brow products to tell me that. If you just lightly brush through it, you're not gonna get as much pigment, but then when you start to like push down a little bit, that's when the product starts to like show up more. But then if you press down too hard, it's like, it gets almost like, lumpy and it doesn't spread out that easily like I can see product a lot of build up right there just by me pressing down harder than anywhere else and this is a this is a product that you can easily get messy with like I feel like I'm so used to my clear Anastasia brow gel that um it doesn't show honestly I don't think I really enjoy the product I was hoping I'd really like it but Okay, let's move on. This is the Omega Shadow Gel Powder Eyeshadow. This is crazy. This is in the shade Oh Mercy. It, okay, I'm gonna swatch it. Oh wow, this was nice. This is how it looks like. It looks way more pink. It's actually more deeper, um, almost like a burgundy shade, burgundy plum shade. Also um, was looking at this, the Tarte Chrome Paints. And I really do like them. I really do like them. And I got the shade Froze or Froze or whatever you want to call it. And this is a very pretty pinky color. So I feel like maybe it'd look really pretty with that burgundy shade from Marc Jacobs. Like you can see that pinkiness underneath it. I'm going to go in more with a packing brush. I'm just going to use this one shade. So I hope it works well. So I'm going to go in with this Morphe M433. And I'm just gonna start packing it on my eyelid. It's packing really pretty. And on the outer corners, I'm just gonna like lightly blend out, lightly. Like bare minimum pressure. Because I think that's, especially if you're just doing like a one color look, that's what helps it just like not like completely blow out up here. Oh my gosh, it looks so pretty. This would be such a pretty, just like a one shadow look, like a very smoky one shadow look. And like in the pan, you can't even see it, but in the pan, there's like barely any kickback. Oh my God, this shade is so pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring it down underneath my eye. I'm gonna use this um, 
Morphe R41 pencil brush. I'm just gonna smoke it out underneath my eye. Or maybe that was a mistake. So now I'm gonna go in with the eyeshadow pigment. Honestly, I might just leave it like this if I don't like it, which I'm really scared. It might just ruin it. This looks so pretty. So I did grab two setting sprays and one of them is Anastasia Dewey Mist. I'm so excited, I hear so many great things about this. I'm gonna use this to just cover up my eyes. Oh well. Um, the spray isn't as fine as I'm used to. Say that it does smell really nice though it does have that slight alcoholic smell but it does smell really really pretty my sister grabbed an Anastasia liquid lipstick in the shade Seraphine and this this color ties in well with this eyeshadow look that we're about to do that we're about to do that we did this is the color this color is intense so Guys, wish me luck because I'm never good at putting these on. <sighs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and once again, it looks brighter on camera, but it is so much more deeper in person. Okay, I'm going to try to put the mirror down here. This lipstick is so intense. I can't even fathom it. Oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> I'm a punk with red lipstick. That's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this was somewhat entertaining. I hope you could live vicariously through me. Um, if I had to recommend one product, I definitely recommend the chrome. I definitely chrome paint thing from Tarte. I definitely recommend the foundation. I really, 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 really enjoyed it. Um, Marc Jacob eyeshadows, they're really nice. Very expensive. That eyeshadow was $30. Yeah, that's very expensive, guys. Um, I think there are definitely more eyeshadows out there that are really, really good. But dark colors like that, I'm telling you right now, those are... I've tried colors like that, and they're extremely, extremely hard to, like, blend out and pack on. And that did beyond what I was expecting. I literally went and thinking, oh, man, this is going to look really bad. That came out super pretty um, I think it blended out really nice like you would be able to tell even more if it was like not as blended but it looks really good guys um, so yeah guys that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed, enjoyed I hope you enjoyed it stay tuned for more first impressions I'm really excited to do more because I have a whole bunch more makeup subscribe don't forget to subscribe for more content and um, yeah I'll see you my phone went off in this video but yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching, and sorry for all my baby hairs. This lipstick is seriously giving me, like, Selena vibes. I'm just so happy that it's getting my Phone, shut up.